By the end of this video, you're going to learn how to set up Facebook carousel ads for your small business. My name is Armando, and if you're looking for strategies on how to market your small business so you can sell more stuff, then you might want to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, this is the exact same method that I use to set up carousel ads for all of my clients across multiple different industries. So grab a pen and a paper because we're about to jump right into this. The very first thing that you're going to do is head on over to the Facebook's ads manager. This is going to be the starting point for every piece of advertising, any campaign that we do on Facebook. It's going to start from the Facebook ads manager. Now, my ads manager may look a little bit different than yours because as of the recording of this video, which is somewhere in September 2020, um, Facebook changed their interface. So some people are still on the old uh, interface and this is the, the new one here. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you through what this what this looks like, but just know that it might look a little bit different, although everything that we're gonna go through will be in both interfaces, essentially the same thing. So what you wanna do is once you're in uh, your ads manager, uh, make sure you're under the right ad account. And if this is your first time advertising or if you own a small business and you only have one page, you may only have one ad account. I have several because I manage dozens of businesses um, for clients. So very first thing is click on the green create button. This is going to give you a quick creation uh, screen where we're going to be able to set campaign, uh, ad set name, and, and the actual ad set, um, the actual ad name. Now, if you're not seeing this screen and you want to follow along with the tutorial, there's a pretty good chance that you are in the guided creation. Now, the guided creation looks like this, and it's a little bit more kind of messy. If you're an advanced advertiser, you shouldn't have problems with either or. But if this is, you know, you're, you're fairly new to ads, uh, go ahead and if you're seeing this screen, click on quick quick creation so that you get uh, the screen that we're going to be working with here it just makes things a little bit easier now on this quick creation a few things that we're going to do is name our campaign choose our traffic type change set our you know budget or uh, lack of budget optimization and then name all our stuff so for the campaign name go ahead and name this whatever makes sense to you um, I'm going to be using an example of a window company, so I'm just going to name my campaign window sale. Uh, for the buying type, you can only pick op auction, so just leave that alone. For the campaign objective, pick whichever campaign objective suits your, your needs. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone for this demo. Now for campaign budget optimization, we're going to go ahead and shut that off for now. Maybe in another video, I'll explain all about campaign budget optimization, how to use that properly. Um, but for now, it's just going to be too much to add to this uh, to this training. The next thing that you want to do is come to the ad set name and just label this whatever you want. So um, typically what I like to do here is I just like to give it a name plus whatever name of the promo it is. Now under the ad name, you just want to choose uh, a name that, again, fits your needs. What I like to do here is give it... Um, is give it a name that is associated with the type of images or creative videos that I'm going to be using in the ad. Um, so I'm just going to say coaster here. Uh, once you do that, click on Save to Draft, and this is going to open up the Facebook's tiered structure. Now, if you're not familiar with advertising on Facebook, they have a, a tiered structure, basically three layers. You have a campaign, and underneath that campaign, you have ad sets. And underneath that ad set, you have ads. Now you can have multiple ad sets underneath one campaign, and you can have multiple ads underneath a specific ad set. Think of this as a filing cabinet system. The campaign level is your actual filing cabinet, your physical filing cabinet. Now inside that filing cabinet, you have different files. You can have as many or as little files as you want, but you can have more than one. Um, that's kind of like the ad set, okay? Now within each file, you probably organize that by type. So you may have a file that has nothing but printables, a file that may have nothing but pictures, a file that has nothing but bills. That's kind of what the ad level is. It's just your creative and everything that goes inside of that filing you know, system. So once you see this screen here, you're just going to double check. This is the first tier here. This is the campaign level that your campaign name is, is, is set to whatever you, you, know, you had it set to. And just double check that your traffic or your objective is set to whatever you want and the budget, campaign budget optimization is off. The next thing you want to do, step number two, is go down to the ad set level. 
this is where you're going to set your um, your um, targeting your demographic and your budget so you're going to scroll down and leave everything alone from dynamic uh, creative to offer just leave it alone if you're brand new to advertising go to budget and schedule and this is where you'll choose your your budget okay so pick whichever budget suits your needs um, based on what you want to spend um, then you want to come down to audience now audience is a little tricky because with the new layout this used to all be expanded and now Facebook decided that they're not going to expand it so you want to click on location and here's where you set your location if you're a local brick-and-mortar business or a local service-based business your ideal audience is within a specific location so just kind of pick whichever whichever location uh, you want to show your ads in okay next thing that you want to do is come to age again you click the pencil edit icon here uh, and you can choose whichever um, demographic you 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 choose okay a little bit of a tip here on demographic and age um, know who your ideal customer is if you're selling something like in this example um, home windows home window uh, repair or installation I know that an 18 year old is probably not going to be able to buy that so what I'm going to be targeting is going to be people who are maybe married um, who live in suburbia maybe even specific zip codes uh, maybe even 30 35 years of age and older okay maybe even possibly older neighborhoods within my city or, or service area okay the next thing you want to target is gender okay um, if you only service women if your product is mainly purchased by male or female then pick that uh, whichever you want and then detail targeting this is where you can even refine things a little bit more uh, if you choose to now one thing that I will tell you is that by default you will have this button that says uh, detail targeting expansion check I'd go ahead and uncheck this especially if you're brand new to ads just uncheck it because it may throw off your your audiences okay everything else is fine as far as placement goes if you're on the more advanced side obviously click manual placements and choose where your ads are going to show up if you are on the beginner side or even maybe intermediate side and you want to test things out leave it at automatic placement to let facebook's algorithm their machine learning algorithm find people for you and determine which one placement is going to be the best for you now once you give it a little bit of time and you come back and review your metrics then you can go back and refine things manually and tell facebook hey i only want to show my ad uh, in in these channels because you know that your return is there next thing you want to do is click on the ad level this is where all your creative and the actual creation of the carousel ad takes place so pick the page that corresponds to your business um, I have dozens of pages because like I said I manage a ton of pages for local businesses um, and I run advertising for them uh, but if you just are running your business uh, you may only have one there if you uh, are tied to an Instagram account pick the correct one and then move on to the ad setup now in the ad setup you'll see that you have um, some options in here single image or carousel the option that you want to choose is carousel okay and when you select this option what it's going to do it's going to put two three actual cards carousel cards already like as dummy cards in here and you'll have to change these okay you can only have you have to have at least two carousel squares in order to create a carousel ad otherwise it's just not a carousel ad the other thing to note is that by default facebook makes these an image you can have a video and an image you can have all videos you can have all images totally depends on your strategy and what you want to do so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the first one and I'm going to select image and it's going to open up your um, your image viewer here and any image that you've used before or that you've uploaded to Facebook if you've advertised is going to be in here what you want to do is pick the image that is going to be um, that you want to load up as your first uh, carousel ad. So for me, I'm going to pick this one as my first one, and I'm going to click continue. Once the image loads up here, you then have to add a headline, a description, and a website URL where you want people to go to um, for your stuff. So for me, I'm just going to say something like get 50% off um, window replacement. Okay, and as a description, I'm just going to give it something you know for this demo 
limited time offer and then the URL just make sure that your URL is 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 where you want people to go to that's that's really important because you don't want to send people to the wrong spot okay once you do this you want to come down to the second card the second carousel card and you want to do that same process again now I'm going to select the image I'm going to pick the one that I want I'm going to click continue and then that is going to add the second image right there now you're going to follow the same process again you're going to add uh, you can add a different headline if you want to test things this is what's called a seamless carousel that means that one picture one section goes to the next one right so I'm gonna show you what that looks like there you go so you can kind of see that I have one card and then that card blends into the next one and then you can even have a third one in here a fourth one a fifth one I think you can have up to six carousel squares with completely different things in each one of them or one play off of the other just like I've done here now this one for example says wild sell and then it forces people to swipe uh, for the interaction and tells them exactly what they're going to get even though I say it here. This is called a seamless carousel ad and I created another video that shows you how to create these kind of ads without needing any sort of Photoshop or graphic design experience uh, using a free tool uh, online. So if you want to check out that video it is going to be somewhere in the description. Go ahead and check that out um, if you want to. Now before we move further I want to give you some pointers and some tips on this um, carousel ads are square they follow the same type of format that Instagram uh, pictures follow so the size that you want to upload is a 1080 by 1080 picture that's a one-to-one -one ratio the same thing with a video if you have a video it's gonna be a 1080 by 1080 video now you can you see that what I did here is that um, you have two cards I have the other option to add a card as well but I don't have the option to select a video that's because in the new ads manager in the new way Facebook's doing things you have to add a media if I want to add another card right here third card here I click on add media and then I select which one I want so if I want to add a video I choose video and now I have the option to select a video now once I change my video you can see that now I have a seamless carousel ad here I've got two two images and then a video that plays here with a link to where that goes to Now, if you notice one last thing it always shows this card here with your brand and your logo um, that's there you can always choose to remove that and the way you do that is to click this one that says add card at the end of the carousel ads with your profile and now I always uncheck that just because I don't like extra cards in there um, but for the third card you'll come and do the exact same thing add a headline add description and add the URL that you want people to go to now the primary text is something that's going to show up here um, and so I just created something really quick in here um, and you can kind of plug away and paste that and then your ad will actually show up um, with that creative text uh, with that ad copy essentially on the very top now the last thing that you need to do is choose your call to action you can choose whichever call to action you have just make sure that the call to action actually matches what you're telling people to do so in the example of this text I am telling people to go ahead and apply so what I want to do is make sure that I choose the apply button you can also choose to have no button totally up to you um, test things out and just see kind of how they how they work out for you now if you own a local brick and mortar or service based business and your objective is to generate leads for your business so that you can sell more stuff, I have a workshop that I link to in the description of this video. You can go ahead and grab it. It's very easy to follow and what it does is it teaches you how to use lead ads within Facebook. Now lead ads are unique because you can use carousel ads in combination with lead ads and you don't need to have any complicated website. You don't need to have any complicated funnel. You don't have to have a marketing degree or a technology degree to set them up and I've condensed everything in an easy to follow step-by-step -step workshop now this workshop will help you start to generate leads this week if you choose to to use that and if that's something that's interesting to you and you want to learn how to do that again there's a link in the description uh, and you can snag that up and get started right away now if this video was super helpful let me know in the comments if it helped you let me know if you have any questions uh, and I'll be more than happy to answer them if you check around my channel you'll know that I try to get to as many questions as I can uh, and if it was 
helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out to grow this channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.